Hey there, everybody. OpenAI released this predicted uh, responses uh, from their API. And we're using it actually in a simple autocoder configuration. As you can see, it started with a simple initial prompt, it's just to build a fully featured, beautiful tower defense game. And it is currently going. The first iteration was 175 lines, and in iteration 21, it's a, it was able to write 319. It's still going. It's going to go for about uh, 50 iterations. So here are the we are actually logging uh, it, the time it takes for each iteration. The first iteration is taking 25 seconds, second one 39. So it can increase actually sometimes. Yeah, so we are actually going to plot it, but see the 11th iteration only took six seconds. It all depends on um, how much code it returns, how much it modifies it. But I've run this for about 10 iterations, and here were the response times. It's going to make sure it plots it at the end. As you can see, there's autocoder running for 10 iterations. It began about around 16, 17 seconds, and it was able to quickly drop, and it actually had a spike at iteration 8. And iteration nine and ten were the fastest. So this actually really works. It'll be interesting to see uh, the plot after fifty iterations. I'll show show you that you can actually uh, download. We'll review the code here while we are waiting for the code to be generated, the full iterations to be done. But you can download the code from my Patreon. You can find the link in the description and in the comment. But this is pretty much how it works. It's really simple. We have our imports, and then we have iterations. This is the number of iterations to define. You can set it to full auto. If you set it to full auto, then it doesn't take in user input. Uh, if you set this to false, it's semi-auto. In each iteration, it'll ask for a user input, and you can actually skip it by pressing Enter. Here's the initial prompt that you enter. This is your beginning point. It's your user instructions. Fully featured, beautiful tower defense game. Feel free to change this. We're going to use GPT-40. System prompt is implement and improve the following based on this requirement. We're going to pass this requirement, which is going to be the initial prompt at first. Important uh, format your response as follows. Do not return the code in between any kind of tags. That's what we say so that we can properly parse it. And then we want it to return it in this type of this is just code start and code end. This is uh, to get the metrics directory, which is where we're going to save the metrics eventually. Extract code is going to look for the this code start and end. Plus, try to remove the triple backtick Python if it exists. Save code is just going to save generated code with uh, iterative numbering. As you can see, we are, by the way, up to 423 lines of code. Yeah, up almost it added uh, almost 100 lines of code since we started the video. Anyway. So we get improved get improved code function is going to take in current code requirements and a client, which is going to be open AI client. Pass in the system message, we pass in the current code. So here is where the difference is. We also pass a prediction parameter with type content, and we pass in the content that we uh, know we are modifying. In this case, it's going to be current code, but only if we have a current code. Otherwise, it's going to be none. You can also stream these, but I'm not streaming so I can see the response times are clear more easily. Anyway, and then we uh, calculate the time that it has taken, we print it, and we return it along with the elapsed time. And, then, and in save metrics, we save iterations and response time, but this is going to happen at the very end. And then we create a plot with it and save that as well. In our main function, we initialize the OpenAI client. Uh, and then go through the iterations. So uh, if the requirement, if if for iterations, um, if 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 we have an initial prompt and if it's um, the zero, then we use the uh, initial system prompt. Otherwise, we just use this, improve the code by adding new features and improving existing ones as well as better in code quality. If we have set the to full auto, Otherwise, we take in user input, or if user skips, we again use the same instruction. So if you set it to full auto, it will always use this. If you set full auto to false, then it'll ask for user input. But if user skips, then we uh, use the same instruction again. Then we get the response text and time. We append it to the timing data, extract the code, save the code, 
save the metrics at the very end. And that's about it. Let's see where we are up to now. 447 lines of code. Like I said, you can download this from my Patreon by becoming a patron. By the way, if you're enjoying my uh, content, you can visit my website and watch all my videos for free. And if you become a patron, you can conveniently download the source code for each one of them, not just this particular uh, project. So I have over, uh, I think, 400 videos and 350 source code downloads by now. Also, if you're interested in learning how to code with Cursor, which is the best uh, way to code by now, bar none, you can check out my 1000X Cursor course, which has now 28 and over uh, 19 hours of content. I keep improving it, adding to it. You can watch the first two chapters for free. Just check it out, see if this is something you're interested in, but I highly recommend it. So uh, I will be back at the very end to, to take a look at the plot, plus try to run this. So this doesn't have any code execution, code correction. So it's just going by, you know, just by writing to iterate on it. So it doesn't get any kind of feedback by running the code. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we're in the final iteration. Let's see what happens here. Let's see, we got in the last three iterations, we got 59, the eight seconds, 14, 13, and 11. Here, here are all the timing metrics that are saved. And here's the timing plot. As you can see, it does drop. It's, it, it does drop and remain low, except sometimes it spikes, which is, I guess, to be expected. So in total, we've written about 527 lines of code with this autocoder. Let's run it, see if it'll run. I, I, I but oh, it did run. Okay, well, uh, it, is a, it is an error. Let's, let's test 40, 43. No, this doesn't run either. So we're not getting any feedback. So by running the code, so that's the system pose, and it is GPT-4.0. But you can, I guess, uh, pass these errors with cursor, try to fix it. Essentially, this was the test, the autocoder configuration with predicted outputs. And as we have seen in the plot, this seems to really work, reduce latency. Okay, I hope you found this useful. See you in the next video. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one on one. Check those out as well. Right now, listen to me. I've been trying to toad, and you know, like I'd like toading the fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it, it's easy. So um, I came across 1000X Cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X, you're coding.